Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thanks again for watching Poor Boys RC. Today, check it out. We got the Tamiya Super Saber instruction manual right here, which means we're going to do a time-lapse build video for you guys. Put it all together. I've got a couple parts bags already opened up. I'm surrounded by parts trees everywhere. This is my process. Let me know in the comments below what your process is. I'm really curious. This has become a bit of like a ritualistic thing for me, and I love it. I'm always curious to see what other people do. So let me know in the comments. But this is how I like to do it right here, guys. I have got parts all over the place. We've got the body there. It's kind of over here. That's last. We kind of start here and work our way over this way. Obviously, the instruction manual. I've already opened up parts bags A and B right here. I've got C, D, and E ready to go. Pre-painted my dust tray. I've got my driver here already painted. We went with the, uh, the black and silver to match the body of the Super Saber. <laughs> look at that guy's head. I haven't done his eyes yet. I might not do his eyes. Whenever I do, the eyeballs tend to look like uh, my drivers have a mild to moderate crystal meth addiction. So I might not go there just yet. A couple things to keep in mind. You've got a couple different options here for pinion gears. Interestingly enough, the kit did come with a couple ball bearings. Got a couple thrust washers, or sorry, a couple thrust bearings here as well. A couple brass bushings, and of course, lots and lots of nylon bushings, which you're probably gonna wanna replace with ball bearings. I've got my parts trees here, all as they are numbered, well, lettered, A, B, C, D, and so on. Finishing off with the body. Hope you guys enjoy the tunes. Hope you guys enjoy the time-lapse build. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It means a ton. Excellent! So build tip number one when putting together your Super Saber. As you can see, I'm going with the Super Stock RZ motor. This is a good motor. Works really well in these four-wheel drive Tamiyas. And, you know, of all things, I'm being a little bit funny about it. But, you know, it's got the red and silver, which is really going to look nice with the red and silver body. So that's, uh, that's contributing to the reason why I went with that motor. But a good motor choice. Now, right here on page five, step five, we're putting the motor into the gearbox. And we've got these kind of funny little shims here, and it tells you when using a 13 tooth pinion gear, how to shim it. Now the kit comes with a 15 tooth, which is what I've put on my motor, and it also comes with a 13 tooth. So when you're gonna go ahead and build your Super Saber, make sure you pay attention to the step, okay guys? It's very crucial. Here with the 15 tooth, I've gotta to follow this step here. So when using the 15 tooth pinion gear, I've gotta do my shimming a little bit differently. I've got two shims, two shims, and the screw's gonna go in the center, as you see here. If you were gonna go with a 13-tooth pinion gear, you have to shim it very differently. You've gotta put all four shims on one side. And why is that important? Well, think of it this way. If you shim it for the 13-tooth gear, but you're using the 15-tooth gear, it's not even gonna fit. If you go the other way, if you shim it for the 15-tooth and use the 13-tooth, your pinion's not even gonna touch the spur gear. So, very important to pay attention during this step.
right, guys, we're making excellent progress. And right now I wanted to take a quick pause and talk about step 17. On step 17, what you're building here is like a, it's a steering apparatus. And how this works, you're going to attach your servo to this. And this mechanism slides back and forth when you turn. It's very easy to get debris stuck inside here, which can make your steering kind of bind up and do goofy things. So a good idea to use a high powered servo or at least a higher power servo, these are 25 kgs, which is more than enough for this task. My wife ran into this issue with her boomerang where her steering kept getting stuck. And we had, I think we had a seven kg servo in there and it was getting bound up. So I dropped a 25 in there and the problem went away. So just a heads up, if you're gonna build this kit and run it on sand and very, very fine dirt, you might need a higher powered servo to make sure your steering works. And well, just like that, the Tamiya Super Saber is complete. Have a gander at that beauty, guys. Oh yeah. The angles, the silver, red, and black, I think it just, it, I love the color combination. It is just freaking awesome. Um, I'm also pretty stoked with the way that the Super Stock TZ motor looks in there. You know, I chose it for A, for performance, but B, also for the aesthetic. And you can see it looks pretty, pretty darn good in there. The colors matching uh, nicely with the red and black. 
As far as any build tips go that I could give you guys, one thing I'd mention is when you're assembling your shocks, since you've obviously got two shocks in the rear and the mono shock up front, uh, you've got one, two, and three hole pistons available. I went two holes in the rear and one hole piston in the front, just, you know, figuring that one shock kind of working double duty. And I'm pretty happy with how it feels, to be honest. I think that was a, a good choice. The kit does come with the soft damper oil. And if I find it's a little too soft, I can increase the the viscosity level of my damper oil and get a little more dampening out of there but as it feels right now it feels actually pretty balanced to the rear so i think that's a good setup if you watch my unboxing video i was rather curious as to why the kit came with two prop rods and uh, indeed these are two prop rods and it says right in the manual uh they give you a second one as a spare that leads me to believe that tammy might be thinking people are going to be bending these i mean you know for a four-wheel drive buggy this is pretty thin by today's standards but i'll say i've got i've got a whole slew of these buggies this you know basically the same chassis the terra scorcher the boomerang the gosh there's so many the hot shot hot shot 2 all very very similar all using the same little coat hanger prop rod and knock on wood i haven't been one yet other than that, guys, like I said, during the build, I think it's a really good idea to put a higher powered steering servo in here, preferably something waterproof, uh, just with the way the steering mechanism works on these buggies. And again, guys, it's always a good idea to get some ball bearings ahead of time. I ran out. I thought I had a bearing kit for this buggy when I started. Turns out I didn't. I bought one for the hot or for the Hornet by accident. I thought it was for the Super Saber, my mistake. So I assembled the kit using a lot of bushings in the gearbox, which I don't like to do. So do go ahead and get some bearings before you get started on this. You can find them really cheap online. Or if you join the Facebook group, the Poor Boys RC Facebook group, I put a link in there today uh, to a smoking deal I found on the, the most common used bearing in these Tamiya kits. So check that out. Also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Poor boys RC. And the last tip I'll give you guys with this build is these tires are actually directional, believe it or not. The kit does advise you on how to put them together, but you can see these tires do have a direction to them. So pay attention to that. There's even a little arrow on the side that tells you which direction the tire is designed to go. Uh, so when you're putting yours together, make sure you put your tires on the right, the right way. <laughs> and if you're new to RC, if you've never built one of these before, this took me about three and a half hours or so to build the chassis, the body pre-painted, pre-trimmed, which saves a ton of time, a ton of effort. And there aren't many stickers on this body. So it only took me maybe another hour to put the stickers on. So an experienced builder can get this done in four and a half hours or so. A novice would probably get it done a little bit longer than that but it goes together really nice not a lot of crazy things not a lot of challenges that are gonna you know really make you wonder what's going on how to how to put it together it goes together pretty simply so if you're on the fence about building a kit jump in and get one of these things they're inexpensive they're four-wheel drive they look super cool and they're super fun to drive anyway guys that's it for me for today me and the super saber that is harry hurry up has got to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And as always, be excellent to each other.